Hi. Welcome to the Now. I'm Ashley. I'm Mika. We are barely into the second week of 2018, but it looks like someone's New Year's resolution was threatening <laughs> legal action over criticism over the games. Oh boy! Only this time, it's not against fans who hurt the developers' feelings. It's against the well-respected Digital Foundry for one of their famous technical appraisals. How do you argue with numbers? <laughs> All right. So while on the surface it sounds like this could be the case of a game developer getting huffy, sure. Well, it turns out the developer might actually have some solid ground to stand on. Plot huh, twist. That's a huge plot twist. So what happened, you may be wondering. Well, as they tend to do, Digital Foundry released a technical assessment of the game Red Out Lightspeed Edition on the Xbox One X by developer 34 Big Things. If you haven't heard of the game, it's a zero G racing game comparable to Wipeout or F Zero. Or I that, love F Zero. You know, I love Wipeout. The PSP game that no one really played. That was kind of like one of those. I played that. It yeah, was, I didn't play that. Wasn't that great? Must be one of those. Yeah. Anyway, over the weekend, Digital Foundry posted their breakdown comparing the game's performance on both Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro. You know, so fans of each super-powered console can argue about who's got more FPSs and Ks and all that stuff. And in their estimation, the Xbox One X version was found wanting. According to the Digital Foundry, the PS4 Pro version outperforms the Xbox One X's in terms of frame rate. They wrote, the bottom line is that Red Out on PS4 Pro has the edge visually, and it makes a much better fist of hitting. It's 60 FPS target frame rate, with Xbox One X falling short of the target in both regards. They also called out the developer specifically Ooh. for over-promising and under-delivering, especially when it comes to the game's target resolution. As far as Digital Foundry could tell from their tests, the game was running at native 1080p, which was contrary to what 34 Big Things had promised back in the fall. As you can imagine, 34 Big Things took a bit of exception to some of those criticisms, especially since the result was a lot of upset Xbox One X gamers griping at them about the game's resolution and performances on places like Twitter. So what do you do if you're an angry developer and you're getting mean tweets? You write a super mad blog post and you threaten legal action. Oh, lovely. 34 Big Things' CEO Valerio DiDonato wrote on the company's website, nicest part of a cloudy Saturday morning? Waking up to a shitstorm raging upon you based on what we can call incompetent technical analysis at best. Fake news at worst. Oh, they Damn. broke out the fake news. Holy shit. They will not completely deny that Red Out renders at 1080p, writing, this is a pure straight lie. The Xbox One X got an enhancement update a couple of weeks ago, which brings 4K rendering with dynamic resolution scaling to everyone, owners or not of 4K TV. More specifically, we managed to scale the resolution between 90% and 50% of native 4K, which means the resolution goes from the upper limit of 3456 by 1944 to the lower one of 1920 by 1080. As it turns out, this dynamic scaling thing is absolutely true and was confirmed by another tech outlet, VG Tech, in their tech breakdown of Red Out. 34 Big Things wrapped up the blog post by stating that they're looking into ways to defend their public image so they could send a message to both players and the industry at large. I hope it doesn't involve like a horse's head in a bed or anything. Oh, that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> Digital Foundry responded by, well, they admitted that 34 Big Things might have a point oh. and they took down the video. So all's well that ends well. I guess. Uh, the outlet wrote an update on the original website version of the tech analysis. First of all, apologies to 34 Big Things for the flack attracted by our article. We updated it once additional data from VG Tech came in, which demonstrated that an error had been made and have since pulled the video, which is not so easily updated. We will revisit the game and post a new version as soon as we can. They went on to say, however, it is still clear that Red Out has issues on Xbox One X that aren't anything like as pronounced as the smoother PS4 Pro version, and the developer says they will work on improving them. Wow, so th that kind of thing almost never goes that way. Yeah. That, that's amazing. It's probably because this is a fairly unique case. Some gamers out there are criticizing the actions of 34 big things, likening this to threatening legal action over a bad review, which has happened in the past and hasn't gone well for the developers. Yeah. But it's not really an apples to apples comparison because it's not quite a review. Right, it's one thing to publish some criticisms over subjective parts of the game, but Digital Foundry's whole shtick is presenting objective technical information. By making a mistake, an honest mistake at that, they brought a bit of heat against a developer that wasn't really deserved. Well, at least the part about the 1080p resolution wasn't deserved. So. Which kind of, th that's what makes it a little bit different than throwing a hissy fit over a bad review. If someone's presenting information about your game that simply isn't true in a critical piece, well, you can see why the developer would want that thing to go away. That being said, threatening legal action right out of the gate isn't always the best look either, even if it turns out that you're right. It seems like a lot of this could have been solved with 
an email and a conversation, a friendly handshake or two. Nah, everything's handled on social media these days. Fair. Uh, come on, that's how we do politics now. Oh, God. Still, the company was in a tricky situation without a lot of options, so kind of hard to blame them for going, you know, going in the direction that they did. Oh. I, I agree that maybe threatening legal action was a step too far, but they they felt like they needed to do it in a public forum. I get that. Negative news tends to get around a lot faster than retractions and apologies, and it can do a lot of damage really quickly. And when they talked about looking at their other options, they could have meant something like a DMCA rather than going all the way to a full-blown lawsuit. Even when you're right, lawsuits are kind of expensive and time-consuming. Although technically, a DMCA is also a legal action. Fair. Okay. <laughs> but part of why this has blown up so much probably is because of, well, you know, Platform fanboys. Anytime someone very firmly entrenched in the console wars gets a chance to take shots at the other side, stuff like this tends to happen. A lot of people very passionately believe that the console that they have purchased and put down money for has to be the best, and anything else has to be the worst. And no doubt being thrust right into the middle of a bunch of angry fans on either side griping about X's and pros turned the heat up for 34 big things uh, much more than they would have liked. Still, good on Digital Foundry for updating their information, pulling the video, and resolving to get another performance review of the game online. And who knows, this could turn out to, to be a bit of like a PR boon for 34 big things. Not, yeah. not because of this whole thing, but because there are a lot of people who may never have heard of the developer or game who have now heard of it and might actually check it out because when you say things like, oh, imagine it's like a new Wipeout or a new F-Zero, I'm kind of in. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you think about this whole kerfuffle in the comments down below. And for more info on lawsuits, because it's only January and you know there's going to be more. Remember it's like our national sport. Yeah, like this video and subscribe to the No for lawsuits. I mean news. And makes a much better first off. Oh, fist. Fist? Fist of Fist of hitting. What? It makes a better they're, they're fist of hitting. Fist of okay. hitting. Okay. Especially since the result was that a lot of accept. Oh, lovely. Thirty-four big things. Is CEO Valerio. Valerio Di Di Donato. That's Italian, isn't it? <laughs>